So for the Batarang, just Google Michael Keaton Batarang and you should come up with this shape. Just print it out and trace it onto a piece of cardboard. You want something reasonably thick but flat on both sides. And then cut it out so you should have this. And then you'll cut a few thin rectangles and you'll put them along the bat just like that. And then you'll cut doubles of the little spikes at the bottom just to give them a little more dimension and put one on each side. And you'll hot glue all those in place like that. And then cover the whole thing in a coating of glossy black paint. And then the little spikes on the bottom, you'll just coat each one with metallic silver paint. Just like that. So for the grapnel gun, I got a little squirt gun for 75 cents from the Salvation Army. And you just want to take some cardstock and roll it up around a pencil or a marker to make yourself a little cardstock cylinder. And then just hot glue the edge of it in place so it stays rolled up. Then cut yourself a little three prong piece of cardboard. You just want to bend up each one of the legs right where they meet the other two. So that when you fold all the pieces up together, you should kind of have a little triangle at the end, just like that. And that little cylinder that you just made should fit right on the inside of that right in between all three of the legs. This thing you just want to hot glue that the cylinder right into place. Just like that. And this will be the base for your grappling hook. So to make it a little more hook-like, just take a pair of scissors and cut each of the legs off at kind of a curved angle, making a point on the end, so it'll be your hooks. You can do that to each one of the legs. Just like that. So then take a half circle of cardstock and fold it up around itself along the flat edge so that you end up with a perfect little cone. You just want to glue that in place right around itself so it stays in that little cone shape just like that. It's going to be the end of your grappling hook. So put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of the cone and stick it, sorry I'm way off camera here, stick it right on the front end of that grappling hook you made just like that. And so then go back and grab some watered down glue and you just want to paint the entire cardstock with this watered down glue and that will make it stronger so that it holds its shape and it will also allow it to take the paint better so that it looks shinier. So then once your coatings of glue are dry, you want about three coatings on it, once the coatings of glue are dry, just put some hot glue on the bottom of the cylinder and glue that right to the end of your plastic toy gun. And this doesn't really look like any of the guns from the movies, but it was small and I thought it kind of fit the costume. And so then just give the whole gun a coating of glossy black paint. And then take some metallic gold paint and so just paint the entire grappling hook with that metallic gold. You want to do each of the legs, each of the little prongs on the outside and the inside. And then you want to do the inside cylinder as well. And you might have to do a couple coats of this in order to make it look glossy and shiny enough. And so there is the finished grappling gun. And so the next week I'll show how to make the belt and attach the grappling gun and the battering to the belt. So tune in next week. Same bat time, same bat channel.